Start out with the face frame down and apply a bead of glue into the dovetail groove. Slide the left and right cabinet walls into the vertical grooves. Don't forget to wipe away any excess glue. Slide the floorboard into the grooves on the wall. Make sure the floorboard notch fits into the groove on the face frame. Take your L brackets and attach them to the inside of the back wall using pre-existing holes on the cabinet and slide the back wall into place using the grooves. Slide the floorboard into the grooves on the wall. Make sure the floorboard notch fits into the groove on the face frame. Locate the small and large toe kicks. Slide them into place using the dovetail. The large toe kick should be placed at the front of the cabinet and the small toe kick should be placed at the back. Now place one metal clip at each corner of the cabinet underneath the floorboard. These will be used to join the toe kicks to the sides of the cabinet. Now you want to place a corner bracket in each corner of the top of the cabinet. Make sure they are near the top of the cabinet. These will join the face frame and the back wall together with the side walls of your cabinet. Now take your drawer glides and slide them into place on your L brackets. The front of the glide should rest on the face frame. Once all your glides are into place, they can be secured to the inside of the face frame using predetermined dimple. Set the drawer face down and place a bead of glue on each groove and tooth on the drawer. Using a rubber hammer or a clamp, attach the drawer side to the drawer front via the dovetail. Now slide the floorboard of your drawer into place using the exposed grooves on the inside of the drawer. Now place the back of the drawer in place and connect it using the dovetails. Make sure the floorboard fits into the groove on the back of the drawer and push it together. Find your glide connectors and place them underneath the drawer in the front corners. Make sure the triggers are facing inward and fasten them down using four screws each. Take your completed drawer or drawers and slide into the cabinet until your glides click into place. If they don't connect, pull the glide out and slide into the connector by hand until it clicks into place. Place the door face down and set each hinge into place, making sure the holes on the hinge line up with the holes on the door. Fasten them down with two screws each, then place a rubber bumper on each corner of the door opposite your hinges. Now place your door with attached hinges to the inside lip of the face frame and attach them to the cabinet using pre-existing dimples on the face frame. 